Hello everyone. Uh, today on my comic art video, I'm going to be taking a look at a one of my favorite commissions. I'm going to walk into my into my room here. You can see my life-size Spider-Man on the left, but I'm going to be talking about the middle piece here. Pop it off the wall. This piece I got several years ago from an artist named Val Samiks or Semix. Sometimes I'm not sure how to pronounce it or how he wants it pronounced. Um, I had gotten a couple of smaller commissions from him, much simpler commissions. I was very satisfied. Um, when I started emailing him about this, uh, he was interested. He said it's not the type of thing he usually does, but uh, I liked his style and I thought he'd do a good job on it. And uh, regarding commissions at the time, it was my most expensive, but uh, having it and now seeing what commissions do go for, I'm very happy to have it. And at this point, it's a deal for me. So it's a full size 11 by 17. Uh, it's in a custom mat that I had made. I bought a mat cutter to put some of my stuff up on the wall. Um, there are definitely some some small amateur errors regarding the mat. You can see some of the uh, some of the fuzz along the the edges here. Uh, my brother-in-law, who is a uh, professional artist and uh, an excellent framer also, he has a bigger setup, says that the fuzz happens when uh, when the blade isn't like razor sharp. Um, but I'm not gonna, it's one of those things where if you, if you try to go in and fix it, chances are you're gonna make it worse. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm happy with the way it came out, the way I, I have this little, the little side things. I wanted to add some blue in there, Spidey being uh, red and blue. So anyway, I had talked to Val about a piece where uh, Peter Parker, I'm guessing I put this at about a week in uh, to him gaining his powers. I mean, I just don't see him. I mean, in a comic book, it happens pretty quickly. He gets his powers. Um, he starts doing some TV shows. Uh, his uncle Ben dies, um, and then, uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm, I may be getting that a little a bit wrong of when he, uh, devises his web shooters, but, uh, I, I put it at about a weekend. He's got to have time to kind of come to grips with what's going on and, uh, figures out that a spider needs a web, but he's got to come up with the spider thing first. And so anyway, I had come up with the idea that I would like a commission of him in his bedroom coming up with his web shooters. Now, I didn't give him specifics. I had a kind of a picture in my head of the angle I was looking at. Um, and he came up with a couple of quick roughs for me. The first one that he had, I didn't really like the angle. And so what I said was I, I asked him to, to bring it back a little and then come in from over this shoulder maybe slightly above and uh and he sent me a rough that was very similar to this and even he said he liked it better this way so as long as he was cool with what i was thinking and what i was thinking was going to work uh for the way he was going to draw it everything was great so uh i think it was a couple of weeks later he sent me the pencil the finished pencils um and they were clearly finished pencils it's almost like I, I i i asked him at the time i said does it really need inking because they were they were like publishable ready pencils all the detail was there this was just not some knockout sketch um 
and uh, and he said he he thinks it it would look better inked, and so I was already in the mood to pay what I had what we had agreed on anyway. So I said, yeah, go ahead and ink it. And of course, I'm glad I did. He did he did such a good I, a good job on the inking. Um, I had asked him about line work and cross hatching and all that other stuff, and he was explaining to me that a lot of a lot of the uh, current pencils and inkers aren't quite as into it as they used to be because the colorists were taking care of the shading by just varying the tone of color. Uh, he said that the cross hatching and line work is, 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 uh, let's call it classic penciling and inking. And I told him that's the kind of comic books I grew up on. And that's the kind of thing I liked. And so if he didn't mind and he didn't at all. So you can see there's line work here. There's line work here, line work on Peter, and there's even some cross hatching up on the uh, up on the shoulder, and some cross hatching in the uh, in the costume, and the line shading on the bed. Um, it's pretty much just what I wanted. Uh, I like the extra touches. Uh, what you can see here is you can see uh, a periodic elements poster. You can see the corner of it here. I'm not sure uh, if if it comes out on the uh, on the video. Um, but then over here you have the, uh, the books on the dresser with the thinker bookend. Uh, it's the little things that you figure that a, uh, a science nerd or a intellectual would have in his room, uh, that his parents might get him as a gift or whatever. Um, and then down here we have the bubbling beaker and, um, uh, his, his, his glasses, his tired eyes are working, but he has his glasses and his, his stuff over here is, uh, his, uh, instruments. And he's working on the web shooter, and and he's got the three ring binder and the uh, and probably the adhesives and whatnot along with his books on his desk. Just what a a tinkerer, a scientist would have. Uh, very very happy with it. Um, I uh, I I look at it and I can't think of anything else I would have added. There's not a lot of dead space. Uh, I've gotten a couple of commissions from other people where, say, if you didn't have the poster, the Elements poster up here, this space up here would just seem like it needed something. Um, but he had already put something in it, so everything was going well with this. Uh, so that is my Val Semex uh, commission, my Peter Parker commission. Uh, this was probably five years ago or so. Uh and for me, the, the test of uh, a successful commission is if the more you look at it, the more you like it. Or even the more you look at it, it's not a case of the less I like it. If you were just in it to spend money and you said, yeah, just knock me out of Spider-Man. And it comes to me and you're like, yeah, geez, I could have added this or I could have added that. Then maybe you didn't quite put in what you wanted to. Well, since this was a somewhat expensive piece for me at the time, I'm not a thousand dollar commission collector. A lot of people call it the thousand dollar club. That's not me. Um, I've always considered myself a bit of a budget collector, but, uh, I look at it and I like it when I look at it more, I still like it. So this is one of my most successful commissions. And I'm very happy that the money I spent to me is well-founded. Um, uh, I do not regret a second of this. Um, so I appreciate you watching. And uh, there may be a video popping up, uh, an odd video uh, with some non-comic related stuff here and there. Um, uh, I've just gotten into the world of uh, the world of droning and quadcopters and uh, I kind of uh, made something up uh, that I thought I might put on YouTube, just an accessory. Um, but uh, I'm going to keep putting these out as much as I can. I thank you for watching and have a good day.